Welcome to this training module for version 5 of Zorcom Complete PBX. My name is Keith Bookman and today I want to talk about the basic steps to create a queue. The queue dialog is part of the call center menu group. The automatic call distributor manages queues by allocating incoming calls in the order of arrival to the first available call center agent. The system answers each call immediately and, if necessary, holds it in a queue until it can be directed to the next available call center agent. Balancing the workload among call center agents reduce, ensures that each caller receives prompt and professional service. A queue can be integrated into your system as the destination of an inbound route or as an option within an IVR. First, I need to define the code that internal users can use to, to reach the queue. To make managing the system easier, Zorcom suggests that all queues be in the range between 9300 and 9399. So now I'll create a queue by typing 9300 in the code field. The description should be meaningful, so the purpose of the queue is clear to other complete PBX administrators. Let's call this queue Zorcom support. I can add any number of call center agents, also referred to as members, to the queue. These should be the subject matter experts who are best equipped to answer questions from customers. First, I need to add an agent by selecting an extension from the drop down list. So I'll go to the drop down list and I want to add in now Amy. Next, I can set a penalty for the agent. Que calls from the queue will be sent to available agents with the lowest penalty. If, if no low penalty members are available, members with the next highest penalty will be called. This allows you to protect expensive resources by only sending calls to them after using all the agents with lower penalties. Although you can use any number, I suggest using numbers in the range from 0 to 9. I will give Amy a penalty of 9 because I want her to take calls from the queue only if no other agent is available. The member type can be dynamic or static. A static member will always be a member of the queue and will not need to log into the queue. However, a dynamic member can log into the queue when they want to be available or can log out when they do not want to take calls from the queue. If the allow diversions field is set to no, Diversions, such as follow me, will be ignored for that agent. I can add additional agents by clicking on the add icon. So now I want to add Antonio. I'm going to give him a penalty of 1. And he will also be a static agent. If I scroll down to the last destination, this determines how to handle the call if the call cannot be an answered by any agent. I could decide to direct unanswered calls directly to the extension of the support manager, Susan. So let's go to extensions and we'll select the extension of Susan. If the support manager does not answer the call, the call will follow the normal routing of unanswered calls for her extension. Finally, click on save to save the new queue in the database. Note the red reload icon that appears at the top of the screen. If I have finished making all my configuration changes, I will need to click on this icon to cause the running system to be updated with any changes that I have made. So now the system's updating. So now, any call directed to the Zorcom support queue will ring the phone of the first available agent. Calls will be sent to Amy only if Antonio is busy with a previous call, because Amy has a higher penalty than Antonio. If neither agent is available, the call will be passed on to the extension of Susan. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at 
info at zocom.com. 